In this video, I will show you how to label your geologic unit polygons on the map. Right-click SP Geo Units in the Contents pane. Then click Label. You'll see a bunch of random numbers show up on your map. Right-click again on Geo Units and then select Labeling Properties. The default labeling expression was set to Shape Length or perimeter of the polygons. Delete this expression and then double click on unit name in the fields box to change the labeling expression. Be sure to hit apply at the bottom. Now the labels on the map seem to make a bit more sense. However, typical geologic maps only use short form unit labels for clarity and neatness on the map. This was partly an oversight on my part. Um, typically, when making the original polygon symbology for geologic units, you want to just stick to the short form labels. For example, QL instead of lava flow. But this hiccup only serves as another teaching moment in Arc Pro. I mentioned in one of the earliest videos in the playlist that there are more than one paths in Arc Pro that you can take that will get you to a similar solution. Here I'll show you my solution to this labeling problem. Since I am not aware of a way to change a unit name without redoing the whole polygon symbology, what I will do is create a new field in the SP Geo Unit attribute table called Unit Label. For those who work a lot in Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, all we are doing by adding a new field is creating a new data column. Be sure to specify text data type for the new unit label field, then hit save up top. Close the fields window just to view the SP Geo Units attribute table. Now this part is a little monotonous, but luckily there are only 23 polygons. See the new unit label column that was created in the attribute table? We must now manually enter the appropriate polygon label for each polygon. Once we have entered all the unit labels, we can navigate back to the labeling properties window and change the expression to the newly created unit label field. The map and polygon labels look better now, but we still have some work to do to clean up duplicate labels. And again, there are a couple different ways of doing this. I will show you two methods. First, notice the duplicate labels on the SP mountain and also this degraded vent. The reason for the duplicate labels here is actually an artifact of the feature class to polygon tool that we used earlier to generate the polygons. Since some of the crater rim linear features formed closed polygons on the volcanoes, an individual polygon was created, even though it is part of the same single volcanic feature. What we can do here is merge these individual polygons into a single polygon, the same way we merged contact lines in a previous video. Recall the Selectable Features tab in the Contents pane. Before we merge the polygons, we want to make sure that other features on the map, such as contacts or linear features, are not accidentally selected and effected. So toggle off the map border, linear features, and contacts, leaving only the SP Geo Units polygon layer toggled as on and selectable. Then use the select tool in the edits tab to highlight the four individual polygons that comprise this single degraded vent. Once you are certain you have all the correct polygons, click on the merge tool up top. Now that those polygons are merged, only a single QV label is drawn on the map. We can do the same for the SP Mountain Scoria cone. So that method of merging polygons worked for the unique case of those volcanic features, but what if we wanted to get rid of some of the labeled density in the northwest part of the map? To fix this, navigate back to the Labeling Properties pane for the SP Geo units. Near the top of the pane, you will see tabs for Symbol and Position. I highly recommend looking through all of the different menus and options in each of these tabs as they really allow you full control to customize your labels to your liking. Under the position tab, if you click on this icon, you will see a drop down menu called remove duplicate labels. 
Select Remove Within a Fixed Distance. Note the default search radius of 150 points and also what it did to the label density on your map. Here, I would argue that it actually removed too many labels. So to fix this, I'm going to try reducing the search radius to 50 points. So this looks great to me. It's not too cluttered, and all the major polygons are labeled. Note that the final aesthetic touches on your map may take some trial and error, Play around with some different settings in Arc until you get it looking the way you like. For example, I'm starting to think that I have too much orange on my map. I want to change the QS surficial deposits to yellow in order to get more color contrast. I will show you a shortcut to quickly change the color for this unit. Navigate to the contents pane and double click on the color square that is next to QS. This will quickly open the Symbology pane on the right. Under Properties, highlight the solid fill, and then select a new color for the unit and hit Apply. This can be done for any of the geologic units if you are unhappy with any of the original colors. That's all for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to add and edit contour line labels to the map.